Hello all. Welcome to the presentation on the poem No Men Are Foreign written by James Kirkup. James Kirkup was born in England. He was a homosexual and anti-establishmentarian. He voiced his protest against the Second World War. The poem No Men Are Foreign is an anti-war poem. His first collection of poetry is The Drowned Sailor. He was elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature in 1962 and was awarded the Moncrief Prize for translation in 1992. He had to face trial for blasphemy because of his controversial poem The Love That Dares to Speak Its Name in which he described Jesus as gay. Before I give you the explanation of the poem, let me first give you the summary of the poem in Malayalam. James Kirkup in the Jananam, England Lyrum. Random Loga Maha Yudha Tinedre Shakta Mai Pradeshed Maricha De Tinemika Kavidagalum Yudha Virudha Uru Pradana Premayamana. Atra the Lurup Kavidayana, no men are foreign. Yudhangal Kedere Shabda Chivanda, E Kavida, Manishir Kide Ilesa, Hodari Tina Mahima Chitri Girikin. Xenophobia, Adava, Videshigaludula Pedium Virupum, Tetananum, other Namala Vibajiki Yananum, Kavida Chundi Kanikin. Vamshiada, Bumishastra Baramaya Adirtigal, another national boundaries, geographical boundaries. Deshi yada, nationality. Ingani ulla manushi nirmi the maya kadingal, namuki deil verukundakunu. Kavi namale ormipikiana, namal matu lavari verukumbul, namal swayam verukugiana. Karanam, ella manushirum unana. Kavi the tudanganada, uru manushinum vijitra malla, uru deshum anya malla in the namala orma pedatikundan. Sainigari ver tirikuna avade uniform yetis the maikan, pakshe, adana kirila manushir ella purvoliana. Our ella jivikinum pinida marichi vinadu ure bumil tanayan. Our number is Sahodarangal Tanayana, our Kanam Nadam Anubakin the Maya Surinam, Vayu, Velo Mukin, number Anubakin the Tanayana. Namada Polatan is Samadanath in the Samayatil, our Bakshana Maswadikin. In the Yutath in the Samayatil, Namada Polatane, Patanigakun. Yutathine, if it a winter season, Adava, Shida Kalatodana, Ubumichikin. Our at a Karatine, Sneham Kundaki Pedata Narana. Namada Sahodarangal Verkumbul, number Namethaniana Verkunadum, Manjikinadum. Namal Parasparam Yutam Chimbul, E. Bumi and Namal Malamakunad. Yudatinubukin, Atom Bum Polyola, I the Nal, Vayun and Ashapikin. Evide, Yudatine, Naragatinodan of Michirikinad. Kavida Avasanikinadum, Tudamunadum, Urupoliana. Urumanishan Vijitra Malla, Urudesho, Anne Malla in the Namala Orma Perticund. Introduction No Men of Foreign is an anti war poem that preaches universal love. Humanism and Brotherhood. It portrays xenophobia as an evil that separates human beings in the name of nationalities and geographic boundaries. It creates hatred amongst humans. It is a protest against xenophobia and racial hatred. Xenophobia is the state of being afraid of and even hating foreigners. The poem reminds us that all humans are the same. They breathe the same air and walk upon the same earth. It conveys the message that war destroys the earth and that when we hate others, we are only hating ourselves because all humans are one. It does not glorify war or give it a sense of romantic ideal of courage or love for the nation. Instead, through simple language, it shows the horrors and brutality associated with war. Summary The poem opens by reminding us that no men are strange and no countries are foreign. This is because essentially all humans are the same no matter what uniform we wear or where we live. Uniforms that soldiers wear are meant to separate them and create a sense of hatred for the enemy country. But beneath those uniforms, all are alike. Everyone with the same human body breathes the same air. Here, uniforms means soldiers. And this is an example for metonymy. Metonymy is a poetic device or figure of speech by which, instead of stating the name of the actual idea, you use Another idea or term which is closely associated with the actual idea. Here, the actual meaning intended is soldiers. But instead of using that word, you use uniforms which is closely associated with soldiers. So, in effect, uniforms mean soldiers in this line. Everyone lives and walks upon the same earth and dies in the same earth. In line 5, the word they means soldiers of another country, that is people who wear a different uniform. Those soldiers too experience the same sun, air and water just like us. They too feed on peaceful harvests just like us and are starved by the long winter of war. Here in line 6, peaceful harvests refer to times of peace without any war, when people have food in plenty and enjoy peace and happiness. This is an example for the poetic device called as 
transferred epithet. It is another poetic device by which a word that is usually used to describe a particular idea or concept is transferred from there and is used to describe another completely different thing. Adhaidha, sadharana gadhiil oru vaakkine visheshipikyan ubiyogikkinna matturu vaakkine nammal adhinda original sthanath nannam transfer eithu matturu pudhiya vaakkine visheshipikyan vendi ubiyogikkin bol adhani yana transferred epithet enna pariya. We will be discussing more about poetic devices towards the end of this presentation. The phrase war's long winter starved refers to the time of war when the whole land becomes unproductive like in the time of winter and people face starvation. Winter is often regarded as a symbol for death and despair and hence here winter is a metaphor for war. During the time of winter and during the time of war people face difficulties and shortage of food. Here, the winter is caused due to war and not by a change of season. The hands of those soldiers are just like ours. They do the same labor as we do. The poet reminds us that they have eyes just like ours that see the same earth as we do. We all wake up and sleep with those same eyes. They have strength just like us and it can be one with love, not with war. Here in line 10, the poet is stating that enmity and the strength for violence can be met with love. War is not the solution, love is. All over the world, there is common life that everyone can recognize and understand. The poet asks us to remember that when we are told to hate others, that is people different from us in terms of nationality, geography, color or creed, we are only hating, dispossessing, betraying and condemning ourselves. This is because those people are our brothers. We must remember that when we take arms against each other, or wage war against each other, we are defiling earth or destroying its purity. The hells of fire and dust in line 18 refers to atomic bombs, guns and other weapons of destruction used in warfare. Such hellish weapons that we humans use destroy the innocence of the air that we breathe. The poem concludes by reminding us once again that no men are foreign and no countries strange. Significance of the title no Men Are Foreign is a poem that protests against war and xenophobia. It drives home the message that we must not see people from a different country as dangerous outsiders or foreigners who should be hated. It reminds us that all over the world, people are the same. We are all united by universal brotherhood. Thus, the title of the poem becomes a noble message for universal humanism. Poetic Devices First one, Metonymy In line 2, Uniforms refer to soldiers. We have already discussed how and why uniforms is used to refer to army or soldiers. The second poetic device is repetition. The word remember is repeated in the poem five times. Also, the beginning and the end of the poem is also similar. The phrase remember no men are strange, no country is foreign is repeated in the beginning and in the end. The third poetic device is metaphor. In line 6, in the phrase, war's long winter starved, war is compared to winter. Both winter and war are times that cause shortage of food. In line 18, in the phrase, hells of fire and dust, war is compared to hell and atom bombs are compared to hellish fire. Alliteration. In line 2, in the phrase, single body breathes, the sound burr is repeated. In line 6, in the phrase, war's long winter, the sound burr is repeated. Transfer epithet. In line 6, in the phrase peaceful harvest, the word peaceful is an adjective that usually describes the social or political condition in a place. But in this poem, the word peaceful is transferred and is used to describe the word harvest. And hence it becomes an example for transfer epithet. Thank you.